Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube video, I'm going to compare three of my favorite video editing softwares, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Camtasia Editor. So if you're somebody who is looking to choose from three of these amazing video editing software, this tutorial is for you. I have only selected these three software because they are known for their quality and the feature that they pack. Premiere Pro has been the favorite video editing software for many professional YouTube content creators and even filmmakers. But DaVinci Resolve is one of the most sought out of professional video editing tool that even filmmakers in the Hollywood scene use. So it makes sense to actually include these two software in this comparison. Now, Camtasia is a bit different than these two software because it is not technically a video editing software. It is more of a screen recording editing software, but it also has a lot of video editing software qualities that you can use if you are a beginner and don't want to actually dive into the world of complicated video editing uh, tasks and processes. On top of that, if you're somebody who does not actually want to mess around or play around with a premium software, that's actually an overkill for video editing and simple screen recording editing. I would recommend you to use uh, Pepo Cloud because Pepo Cloud is an online web application that's far more affordable than any of these three software. On top of that, you don't have to install anything on your computer. Every audio editing tool, every video editing tool, screen recording and sharing tool is available in this platform right away. All you have to do is go to pepocloud.com and start using this software after you sign up for an account. So if you are in need for a simple video editing, simple screen recording and screen sharing application, Pepo Cloud is the right choice for you. Now let's dive into the tutorial and see how these three softwares are different from each other and if you should spend money on one of these, which one that should be. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. I'm going to start with DaVinci Resolve. Although DaVinci Resolve is a mainstream video editing platform and software, you must not have heard about it if you are not into the world of video editing in the first place. Because DaVinci Resolve is professional video editor's first choice and people who actually make films. So, if you haven't heard about DaVinci Resolve, it actually makes absolute sense. Let me walk you through the features that actually comes packed with DaVinci Resolve Studio. DaVinci Resolve Studio is the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, which is a free software that comes with almost all the options other than the neural engine and a few other uh, professional editing options that you might need if you are into hardcore video editing uh, tasks and jobs. But if you are a beginner, you could just use the free option and uh, edit your videos without any problem. Right off the bat, DaVinci Resolve is pretty popular because of its color grading tools and its color grading capacity. I have noticed that while I was using Premiere Pro, the color grading was accurate, but as soon as I made switch from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve, I noticed that color grading is much more accurate and it is actually fun to grade colors using this software. The editing on DaVinci Resolve is faster as compared to Premiere Pro and Camtasia Editor. The Fusion Special Effects panel just makes sense in Resolve because you get a completely different panel for special effects and transitions as compared to Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, you will have to play around with adjustment level layers and a lot of complicated things in order to just get one animation into the play. To be honest, uh, DaVinci Resolve is a Swiss knife of an editing software that comes packed with everything that you need from an editing software. From beginners to professional video editors and filmmakers, DaVinci Resolve is the one software that can be recommended to anybody in this spectrum. For beginners, learning curve is the one problem that's stopping you from diving into the world of DaVinci Resolve editing. You're probably right because the learning curve is a bit steep in the beginning because you may be used to using software such as Premiere Pro and Camtasia, but now you want to start using Resolve. But the Resolve is actually a bit different when it comes to settings hotkeys and various other editing options. Even some fundamental options such as adding transition is a bit tricky in Resolve in the beginning, but as you get the hang of it, you will be able to edit videos at a much faster pace and most of the settings that actually don't make sense in the beginning will start making sense as you get an idea of how the software works. 
DaVinci Resolve, just like Premiere Pro, actually requires you to have powerful hardware. If you're planning on running DaVinci Resolve on a mediocre computer, believe me, your computer won't be able to handle the software and moreover, your editing session will be extremely slow. So if you are planning on becoming a video editor or if you want to edit videos using DaVinci Resolve, you should just stay away from slow PCs and just your average cheap Windows PCs. You need extremely powerful hardware to run this software smoothly on your computer. And if you're somebody who needs just to tweak a simple video, you can go to Pepo Cloud instead of DaVinci Resolve and edit your videos that way. DaVinci Resolve's premium version costs almost $300, which is a lot expensive than a Premium Pro's monthly plan, but it will make sense to you in the long run because you don't have to pay any monthly subscription. And once you pay $300, you pretty much own the software and you can use it as many years as you want. So $295 for a premium, high quality, industry standard video editing software actually makes sense in this context. On top of that, there's also an amazing thing about DaVinci Resolve, they actually offer you a completely free version as I mentioned earlier that you can easily download from their website and start using right away. The only few options such as the neural engine that you might not even need in the first place is not actually available in the free version but if you need neural engine and a few other a few other much more powerful features you can easily upgrade to the premium version when you feel like it. So as a video editing software, I would give DaVinci Resolve 10 out of 10. Quite honestly, it is my favorite video editing software. I've been using it for years and I can vouch for it with closed eyes. I mean, if you have searched on Google for a video editing software, Premiere Pro must be the top option that you found on Google. It is hands down a very powerful video editing software that you can get started with if you don't have that much money to spend on a video editing software. Specifically, if you want to become a video editor and you don't have that much cash, all you have to do is spend $30 per month on Premiere Pro and Adobe CC subscription and all the Adobe Creative Cloud softwares will be available for download. So that's a pretty great deal if you ask me. Not only do you get uh, Photoshop, you also got Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Premiere Pro, Audition and a lot more software for just $30 or $40 per month. But if you calculate the cost in the long run, it gets really expensive. Since it is a monthly subscription plan, you don't actually own the software and if you stop paying them, they would actually revoke your account and you will lose access to all the libraries and all the presets that you've saved in Adobe Cloud. So that's a downside of using Premiere Pro. But considering the fact that you just have to pay 30, 30 to $50 per month to just get started, it actually makes sense in the beginning. Once you get to a point where you can spend a lot of money, you can easily switch to a powerful platform such as DaVinci Resolve. Now, if I talk about the average editing speed, it is actually slower when compared with DaVinci Resolve, but faster when compared with Camtasia. Premiere Pro actually is a fully fledged editing software. It is one of the first editing softwares that many professional YouTubers started their video editing journey with. Even today, most YouTube channels such as Linus Tech Tips and many other use Premiere Pro religiously. And there's a reason for it. Premiere Pro is an easy software to use. Unlike DaVinci Resolve, you don't really have to learn anything. All of the settings are there and you all you have to do is search and pick the setting, to pick the option that you want to play around with and then and boom, you're done with it. Your settings will work seamlessly. Just like DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro also requires you to have a powerful computer. If you don't have a decent computer to work on, Premiere Pro will not properly work. It will crash on you and you might lose all the progress that you made throughout the day while editing a long video. And if you are editing 4K footages or 2K footages in a mediocre computer, the playback, rendering and even switching between tools will be a painful thing to handle. So make sure that if you're using Premiere Pro to edit your software, you should at least get a decent computer to work with. Similar to DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere Pro also comes with great audio effects tools and plugins. It works seamlessly with Adobe products, which means that you can drop Photoshop files directly from Photoshop to Adobe Premiere Pro and even use 
Adobe Illustrator to design custom illustrations and drag them and drop them directly into Adobe Premiere Pro. The Adobe ecosystem is the one reason why many content creators spend money on Adobe Creative Cloud and Premiere Pro. And quite honestly, it is worth your money if you look at all the variables in this equation. The color grading tool is good enough, but it is nowhere near as good as the color grading options that you find in DaVinci Resolve. If I talk about the initial setup process of Premiere Pro, it is pretty simple and intuitive. To be honest, you don't really have to do much with it. Premiere Pro automatically sets up everything and uh, you can just start using the software right away. If I have to give Premiere Pro a score out of 10, it would be somewhere around 8 or 8.5. There is a lot of room for improvement in the software. And considering the fact that it has crashed on me a lot, I would deduct a few points there. And also, uh, when you compare it with DaVinci Resolve, it actually doesn't make sense to spend money on Premiere Pro because you truly don't actually own the software. Now, the last platform on this list is Camtasia. Camtasia is a very simple yet powerful video editing software that's built for screen recording videos. If you record a lot of screen, and you want to edit them, Camtasia Editor is the best choice for you in the market. It has all the features that you need, from callouts to zoom to click removal to noise reduction to adding filters, removing green screen. A lot of advanced features are actually included in this amazing video recording, screen recording and editing software. It is actually built for high quality screen recording. Camtasia comes packed with a lot of special effects for video transitions, audio transitions and nifty tools to remove green screen, reduce background noises and record your webcam and the screen simultaneously. You can also add voice narration after the recording is complete which is a, which is a game changer for me as I actually record the tutorial on my screen first and then add the voice narration later. Now the only downside to using Camtasia is that it doesn't have all the features that you need from a video editing software. On top of it, it is built for beginners and not for professional video editors. Simply put, it is not a video editing software. It is just a video editing software for Camtasia Recorder, which is a screen recording software. So when you record your screen using Camtasia Recorder, after the recording is completed, the recording is finally loaded in the, loaded in the Camtasia editor. In this editor, you can edit the screen recording and add effects that you need. Now, the biggest problem that I face while using Camtasia is that it takes ages to render and export. If your video is more than 10 minutes long, it would take around 20 minutes for Camtasia to actually render that video. To be honest, my computer is a very powerful computer. It is capable of rendering 4K footages in just a few minutes, but whenever I try to do that with Camtasia, it takes one, one and a half hours. If I have to rate Camtasia out of 10, I would give it a strong sick and I would strongly recommend you to use Pepu Cloud instead of Camtasia if all you want is a recording platform that would record your screen and share it with your colleagues and peers. So that was my comparison video for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro and Camtasia. If you're in the search for a video editing software, I would strongly recommend you to get DaVinci Resolve if you have the money to spend on the initial purchase. But if you don't have $300 to spend on a video editing platform, I would strongly recommend you to use the free version that DaVinci Resolve provides and once you have the money to spend on the premium version, you can easily upgrade to the premium version. If you like this video, please click on the like button, drop your doubts and comments in the comment section below, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to receive more updates from this channel. I will see you in my next tutorial with great content. Till then, take care and bye bye.